promise made, promised kept, Maria Trusa from Yo Digo No Mas, I Say No More, is once again here with Chonka's Voice. This is the second time around that Maria comes to our platform to talk about this very important topic and to ask you for your support. Today we have special announcements. We have things that are coming up, but we are going to talk about the things that are coming up, but we're going to be talking about the things that led to what's coming up. Yes. Now, what about Ooh, that line? I love it. See, I love you it. were awesome. I, by the way, yo digo no mas. Not everybody is able to say it right, which we want people to practice. Yo digo no mas. I say no more. Thank you so much. But that goes like, yo digo, yo digo no mas. No mas. Yes. Maria, before we go to what's coming up yes. in two days, let's talk about the things that you've been done doing until now. Yes. The progress since last time we interviewed. Um, so as many of you might not know who I am, but I have been a woman that found a mission that was given to me. I believe in God. If you believe in the universe, the universe gave it to me, uh, which is to take the experience that I've had of being a survivor of sexual abuse at the age of nine when my father gave me to one of his friends, uh, to take this horrific time in my life and take the energy and fuel a movement that is called Yo Digo No Mas, I Say No More. And um, Ruth has been great supporting the movement. You've had me here before. And uh, the idea is for people to know that there is a pandemic of sexual abuse of our children and that we need to stop that pandemic, that we have to stop the normalization of sexual abuse of our children. And that's why I'm here today. Now you've been involved with lots of organizations that are helping you and helping the community expose and talk about this silence issue. Because lots of families are experiencing it, but they're not talking about it. Yeah. They're keeping it inside. And you are, this move, movement is dedicated to breaking the, silence. breaking the silence, correct? Yes. So let's name a few of those organizations, uh, Maria that are helping you. Yeah, one of the biggest supporters of the movement happens to be our own mayor, Mayor Mike Spano. Um, mayor Spano has been so open in knowing that as a survivor, from a survivor to a survivor, um, the connection that we've had from the beginning when he heard about my story and then I did not even know that he had a story of child abuse and he was He's been an amazing, amazing supporter, giving me his story on my talk show, Yo Digo No Mas, I Say No More. Uh, for me, it was a privilege, and the connection got stronger on that day when I did the interview. It, it, I interviewed him in August of last year, and the, um, the show came out um, a few months ago, so season four. Mayor Spano, Rain. Rain is one of the largest organizations that is there to support children that have been sexually abused. They have joined our movement. We do a lot of work with them. We get a lot of the statistics from them. And Dr. Quesada, Dr. Quesada, Edwin Quesada, our very own superintendent who unfortunately is retiring. But uh, he's- uh, uh, Not retiring, correction, that is moving on. He's moving on and not moving on from Yo Digo No Mas. No, no. <laughs> that's for sure. But Maria, before we go much further, let me take this opportunity for a shout out for Dos Marias, 200 New Main Street in Yonkers. This is the best place for Mexican food make new friends, mix and mingle, and Taco Tuesdays, guys, it's just unbelievable. And if you like to sing, karaoke from Wednesday to Sunday, come on down. And guys, one more thing, are you looking for fresh beef? Do you wanna get, you, do you really want the taste of that good stuff, fresh? Prime beef is the place to get it. They will deliver, the guy behind, the brain behind Prime Beef has an excellent customer service. So check him out on Instagram, give them a like, follow, and support our local businesses. Absolutely. Let's just do more than just talk. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of people, Maria, we talk, 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 but no action. No we action. Need to talk. Yes. So we need, you need to talk. Guys, it's Prime Beef. Brothers, 
three words prime beef brothers instagram go there check them out we always share these stories but we want to do more than just share the stories we want you to get the product so contact them reach out and give it a try once you try like me you never go back to another beef <laughs> The only beef I have is with Prime Beef Brothers. That's it. I love it. <laughs> uh, Frank is an amazing guy and uh, a supporter, actually, of Jody Onomas. So he's been working really hard in this book. Uh, I mean, uh, endless hours. So not only has he, does he have great beef, right? I don't eat beef. So I'm not saying, you know, you you eat beef. You got to get it yeah. from, uh, from Frank. But the thing with Frank... Don't call Frank to get a beef with Frank. Call <laughs> Frank to get the beef from Frank. Okay, it's a whole different game, okay? <laughs> That's very good. Yeah, so he's a community guy. He is he somebody is, he is. that is supporting our community. Definitely a supporter of Jodi Gonomas, and I'm extremely grateful for that. Back to our interview. Yes. Now, you have something coming up in two days. Yes. Actually, it's the 29th. It's the 29th in two days on 11 Saturday. A, this is a Saturday. This At Saturday. 11 a.m. this coming Saturday, the 29th. The event is going to start at the City Hall. Yes. To? To Maria Eugenio Ostas. Once we get there. Once we get there, we are going to have food. Uh, Frank actually is supporting us with Angelo from uh, Pisa, Pisa Barn. Right? Pisa Barn. Uh, Angelo is amazing, another guy that has a huge heart, and I'm grateful for that. He's going to be there. We're going to have Goya. Okay. Goya has joined Jodigo Nomas as a supporter. So th there are so many supporters that are going to be there sponsoring, and that there are too many to, you know. Yeah. To name them all. To name them all. So you've been a supporter already, just promoting our walk. But there's going to be activities for the kids because aside from having a walk that where we are breaking the silence and saying no more to the normalization of sexual abuse of our children, we are also going to celebrate life. We're going to celebrate family. We're going to unite because we are united on this cause to make sure that we stop sexual abuse of our children. And there's going to be a lot of singers. We have activities for the kids, mindful activities for our children. There's going to be psychologists there in case, you know, anybody needs any support. Therapists. Therapists that, you know, we try to do trauma-informed. Everything we do, we do it in trauma-informed. Because when you're telling stories of sexual abuse, and there will be some survivors that will speak there, we want to make sure that we are there to support you in case you need some support. So it's going to be an incredible, incredible time. We're going to leave at 11 o'clock. We're going to meet at 11 o'clock in front of City Hall. Now, when you say in front of, do you mean the, uh, the, the fountain or do you mean the downstairs? fountain? The fountain. Yes. Thank you for clarifying yeah. that. The fountain, uh, we're going to have some speakers there. We have Astrid Rivera for the Latino community that knows Astrid Rivera is a journalist for Despierta America in Univision, she's going to be there walking with us. We have speakers that are going to be there. And then from there, we're gonna walk. They're closing Riverdale, mm -hmm. Riverdale Avenue, right? Yes. O Street, Riverdale Riverdale Avenue. Avenue. Yeah. Um, to me, even announcing that they're closing temporarily Riverdale Avenue for Jodigo Nomás to walk, to all of us say no more, to elevate the voices and support our children, it's truly a privilege. It is. It is. Yeah. Now, I don't know. You speak Spanish, right? Sí, yo hablo español. Pero vamos a, a decir un poquito cortando, nada más diciendo a la gente, a nuestra audiencia que habla español, lo que está pasando. We can, no podemos decir todo lo que ya hemos hablado, pero el punto fuerte. Lo más importante es que nos vamos a unir el sábado a las 11 en frente de City Hall, donde está la... La, 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 la cosa de agua. De agua, sí. Dios no, mío, me, me olvidó. ¿Fontana? <risa> fuente. La fuente de agua, gracias. La fuente de agua. En, ahí vamos a empezar a las 11. Vamos a regalar diferentes cosas para los niños. Es algo que la familia tiene que estar ahí para ayudarnos a elevar las, la voz de nuestros niños y decirnos más as, as el, el sexual abuse 
abuso sexual infantil de nuestros niños y es a las 11 el sábado al, en City Hall y de ahí vamos a caminar a María Eugenio Hostos donde va a haber comida, voy a estar ahí dando comida a toda la comunidad y muchas actividades para los niños y para la familia. A la gente que, toda la gente de Yonkers sabe a dónde es esa escuela, pero yo estoy seguro que mucha gente fuera de Yonkers va a estar mirando ese video y no van a saber a dónde es María Hostos. Bueno, María Hostos es Morris en Riverdale, a that corner, a that intersection, a esa intersección. De manera que si no pueden estar aquí a las 11, pues que vayan para allá y esperen que llegue la marcha. Okay? Allá van a estar caminando la gente y para allá van. Sí. That way, people know exactly where they're going to be. Absolutely. Because sometimes you might get stuck in traffic and you're not able to get here on, on time and then say, oh, where do I go now? Yes. So the path will be uh, Yonka City Hall, down to Riverdale, make a left on Riverdale, go all the way up, walking towards Morris, and at Morris you make a left and the school is right there. That's where you can meet the group that, that is walking. I'll be there. Yes, I was there like, the last first year. like last year. This I is our there. second walk, and let me tell you the publicity that this walk has gotten it's incredible, so we are expecting over 3,000 people because last year, we only had two months to get this ready and we had close to 1,000 people that showed up. You saw that, it was magical. So this year, rain or shine, we're gonna be there. That's it, guys, gente, mi gente, my friends, be there, support, actions, not words. This coming Saturday, at starting at 11 a.m. from City Hall to Maria de Hostos on Morris showed up a little earlier because 11 o'clock it's scheduled to start. So show up quarter to 11, learn, get to talk to people, and then be ready for the march to start. Yes. What else, Maria? What else we need to talk about? We need to educate our children. And one of the things that I love about the relationship that we've created with the mayor and Dr. Quesada is that we are creating a curriculum that we're gonna to bring to the school district. We're gonna pilot this with eighth grade. And we also have a book that is coming out of Yo Digo No Mas that is gonna be for children aged 10 to 14 and for parents as well. We are also doing, uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, I'm doing a workshop in one of the schools at Maria Eugenia Ostos for the parents. So if you are a parent and you want to understand how to protect your children from sexual abuse, then come and see me. I will be speaking with you, I will be connecting with you, I will be sharing my story and also sharing the ways that I broke the chains with my own family. So if you want to see me, I'm going to be a Maria Eugenio Ostos. I believe, I believe it's 8.30 in the morning, but uh, I'm, we can confirm that yeah. and put it. You can go on the page and, and, and we'll just confirm update. That. Yes. Guys, without saying, but I'm going to say it, as always, we appreciate you. We appreciate your support. We appreciate your love. But we also appreciate when you share this type of interviews. Inform, in, information and interviews that can actually help the community, that can help us spread this interview, share it, share it on your page, ask your friends to share it on their page, let everyone around you know what's coming up and what's going to happen in Yonkers, April 29th at 11 a.m. right here at the City Hall. Don't forget, it's important. Yes. Actions, not words. Come and say no more with us. Thank you guys for watching. Now you want to know, Yonkers Voice, it's always focused on bringing you the information that we feel it's important to you. We are not interested in harassment, bothering, none of that. None of that matters. People are on Yonkers Voice because of the news, because of the content that we put out. And besides the news that we put out, we also help the community. Can we make everybody happy? Impossible. Impossible. I got six people in my family. I have a hard time keeping everybody happy there and I don't succeed all the time. So much <laughs> less thousands and thousands of people. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> but nevertheless, we do our best to keep most of you happy. We do our best to keep you all happy, but often we don't succeed. But our intentions are never negative, are never to hurt anyone. 
our intention is to help the community, inform the community. Yonkers Voice does not make the news. Yonkers Voice only reports the news. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I will see you Saturday at 11 a.m. Let's make it at 10.45 a.m. Thank awesome. you. Thank you to Beef Brothers, Prime Beef Brothers, three names, Prime Beef Brothers. Instagram, thank you to Dos Marias for making the place always available for us. Don't forget, you like Mexican food? Well, you really don't know what Mexican food is until you come down to Dos Marias. This is the best place for you. Not just in Yonkers. Uh, lastly, I want to make sure that if you want more information about Yo Digo Nomas, you go to yodigonomas.com. If you want more information about Maria Trusa, you can go to mariatrusa.org and we'll put the links yeah, on... Yes, I've been seeing you. You've been very active lately. Uh, yeah, I'm a woman with a very, very strong focused mission. So where do you hide the cane? <laughs> Under <the> open. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you Saturday. Thank you for the support. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to pass on this information that you got today. Thank you. And, and stay tuned for the next interview that's coming right after Maria. Thank you and until later.